Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and thanks for stopping by and watching. So this spray paint art video is going to be a little different from the rest of them. I'm going to be trying out Montana White spray paint and seeing how it works and what it's like when doing spray paint art. So the Montana White spray paint is Montana's budget paint and the cheapest in the range. It is a gloss finish and comes in a 400ml can. It has a high pressure valve system and comes with a stock level 3 medium cap. It also has over 50 colours in its range and the lacquer base for this is synthetic. And in the UK the Montana white spray paint costs around £3.50. So for this spray paint art video I'm just going to be using the stock cap that comes with the can. I'm going to be using ancient white new wave soap and black for this spray paint art and i'll be spraying on a 45 by 32 centimeter gloss card which is 350 gsm i also have planned to do a few more review videos on different makes of paint and that so just keep an eye on my channel for new videos so I hope you'll enjoy watching this spray paint art review with a Montana white spray paint. And if so, give it a thumbs up and please share with your friends and family. And also, if you're a new visitor to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It'd be very much appreciated. Right then guys, so the first thing you want to do is give these cans a good shake up first, about two minutes a can. Once you've shook them up, take the cap off and then pull the donut that's underneath. That's there to stop the cap pressing down in transit, spraying the paint everywhere. So set them to one side, and what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to spray a bit of a paint down this piece of paper to show you how wide it sprays the cap. So just spray the paint on the spare piece of paper first, get a bit of a paint through, and then we're just going to spray a line down there like that so that's a pretty wide line and the paint looks a bit wet a lot more wetter than a, than a normally spray with so then first things first we're going to just grab a couple of lids to make your planets with so we'll put one there we'll put one here and we'll just get the colour we're going to use and we're just going to spray round that one and this one, that's just to give an outline of where your planets are going to go. So then what you want to do now is get the colours and we're going to fill in the area where we're going to do the planet. So just get a colour, give it a good shake. And we'll just fill it in with a bit of colour. Like so. Get a bit of a bit of black down here. And a bit of white. I can see straight away the white is a bit off. It's more like a creamy colour than white. So now we're just gonna pull the paint off. To give a bit of texture for your planet so i'm just going to be using a plastic bag but you can use paper or anything to pull off the texture so just dab it down a bit like so and then we'll pull it off like that now we go back to the white I'm just going to do a bit of highlight on the top Like so, and then for the bottom, it's just a bit of black, like that. So we'll leave that to dry for now, and we'll go on to this one. So we'll do the same now, get the colours you want, just like that, like that. Just add a few colours and that to it. The paint does come out a lot runnier than that, so don't put, don't spray it that hard 
as it comes out. It's a bit runny, that is. So, do it just get a bit of black there. I'll put a bit of white over it, like so. As you can see, the paint is is separating a bit there. So, I'll just put this on. Just tap it down a bit. And pull it off. Then you can just tap around to get a bit of texture on it. Like so. So like that one like that. And then we'll do the same here. A bit of black. A bit of white there. So now what you want to do with these is you want to leave these to dry before putting the lid stencils on. So I'll leave these to dry and I'll be back once it's dry. Right then guys, I'm back now. These are dry now. So what you want to do is grab your lid stencils and put them where you want your planet. So put that one there and grab your other one. And put that one there. And what I'm going to do I'm just going to put a weight on each one, hold it down, might put a couple more on there, just like that. And I'm just going to grab the black, and we're going to fill it all with black. Just go around your lids a bit, like that, so you get it all like black. Now I'm just going to add a bit of colour into it, so just get the cans of colour that we use, and just put a bit of colour here and there, add a bit of colour to it, like so. Add a bit more of this darker in places. So we'll leave it like that, and then we're going to get the white, and then we're just going to flick a few stars onto it. So, so I'll just wipe this paint off my hands, this white paint, and then take the weight off these lids, and then lift the lids off, there's one, and there's two. And then what you want to do is you just sign your paint in, like that. Right then guys, I've just moved it over to a white piece of card so you can see the painting without any overspray around it. I do like how the planets have come out on this one, and I really like the mist in the background. So the only thing I would say about the Montana white spray paint is, if you're using the standard cap, the level 3 medium cap is, when you're doing the planets, like putting your paint down to build the different colours of paints on it, just press the cap halfway down. Because pressing the cap all the way down releases too much paint out. So as you were layering the paint up, the paint was separating because there was just too much paint on top of each other. And the only other thing is that the white seems to be a bit more of a creamier white than white. But it still does the job. But the cap worked well for doing the background, the black, and then the mist in it. But you can also, if you want, you can get different caps and put them on. 
you can get like the level one Montana cap, which will do it thinner and let less paint out. But if you're just beginning and you're just starting out and you want to try spray paint art, then I'd say this paint is pretty good for a beginner to try it. So I hope you enjoyed watching this spray paint art video and if so give it a thumbs up and please share with your friends and family or anyone that you think would be interested in this form of art. And also if you're a new visitor to my channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button it'd be very much appreciated. And if you have any questions or want to know anything just leave a comment in the comments box. As always thank you for stopping by and watching. I hope to see you all in the next video. Have a great day, take care and bye for now.